uniform discrete distribution is something pretty obvious from the name itself so uniform discrete distribution so uniform means something that is equal everything is equal so when we are talking about throwing a die if you want to find uh, suppose the random variable is the number on the die what it really means is when you throw a die the number at the top of the die top face of the die so that is the random variable so the instances of the random variable it can be a one it can be a two it can be a three it can be a four it can be a five it can be a six so this can be the instances of the random variable so if you think about this and if you draw a table so the discrete random variable is one and the instances it can be a one or a two or a three or a four or a five or a six now the probability random variable equals to instance of the random variable they are all equal so the probability of any event is first of all you write the sample space sample space means all the possible outcome and above it you write the event is a particular outcome that you want so if you're talking about rolling a die think about how many outcomes there are so there are altogether six outcomes so so six outcome now event suppose you want to find the probability of getting a one there's only one one if you want to find the probability of getting a two there's only one two so in a die there is one each there is a one there is a two there is a three there is a four there is a five there is a six so each of them has a probability of one by six if you write it down it will be one by six one by six one by six 1 by 6, 1 by 6. It will be exactly the same. If you want to plot this, this is the random variable x-axis and the y-axis is the probability distribution function fx. So for 1, the probability is 1 by 6, so it will be here. For 2, the probability is 1 by 6, it will be here. For 3, it will be here. For 4, it will be here. For 5, it will be here and for 6 it will also be here so all you have to just think about this is like a straight line everyone is equal this is like every probability is equal it's like a uniform it's absolutely uniform so whenever you have this you do not have to go through the long process of calculating the expected value and the variance they themselves a very simple formula so when you have uniform discrete distribution the expected value is simply n plus 1 by 2 so let me show you the long way first if we find the expected value the long way it is going to be random variable into probability plus 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 random variable into probability if you do the calculation and if you write down each and every one and do the calculation it would be 1 into 1 by 6 is 1 by 6 plus 2 into 1 by 6 is 1 by 3 plus 3 into 1 by 6 is 1 by 2 plus 4 into 1 by 6 is 2 by 3 2 by 3 plus 5 into 1 by 6 is 5 by 6 plus 6 into 1 by 6 is 3 so if you add it up it is 11 by 2 so <coughs> that's what is supposed to be maybe there is something wrong in the calculation let me check again uh, 1 by 6 plus 2 by 6 plus 3 by 6 plus 4 by 6 plus 5 by 6 plus 
6 by 6 6 by 6 oh I wrote last time I thought this was a 2 this was a 6 so that was the problem so this is going to be 7 by 2 okay now instead of doing this if I just use the formula expected value is number of random variables n so there are 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 plus 1 so it will be 6 plus 1 divided by 2 which is quite simply 7 by 2 so it will be uh, a waste of time to use this particular formula so this is the best idea so whenever you have a uniform discrete distribution where all the probabilities are equal for that case it is the best idea to use this formula and now let's write down the value for variance okay so when we talk about the variance here the formula is very very simple n square minus 1 divided by 12 that's it so for uniform discrete distribution you don't have to worry about the long formula for variance wh which we are used to for general distribution so all you have to do is just plug it in and you'll get the variance so let's go through the long process again and see whether this works or not so the variance let me write it down here is random variable square into probability plus random variable squared 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 into probability so when you have this minus you have the mean which is 7 by 2 so mean squared so that's the formula so let's bring out the calculator so 1 squared into 1 by 6 is 1 by 6 plus 2 squared is 4, 4 by 6 4 by 6 plus 3 squared is 9 by 6, 9 by 6 plus 4 squared is 16 by 6 plus 5 squared is 25 by 6 Seven, uh, 6 squared is 36 by 6 so this is going to be this minus 7 by 2 squared is 49 49 by 4 so this is supposed to be 35 by 12 so this is the long way of calculation now if you take a look here by this formula so the variance is going to be n is the total number of random variables there are six random variables so 6 squared minus 1 divided by 12 now 6 squared is 36 so 36 minus 1 divided by 12 which is 35 by 12 so it's always a good idea whenever you see a uniform discrete distribution to use these special formulas exclusively for uniform discrete distribution so it's always a good idea otherwise you get the same mark but since there's only one point uh, why spend so much effort on it now there's another question regarding uh, when should we use or what is the best example for uniform discrete distribution of course the example is rolling a die if they ask you give an example of a uniform discrete distribution it's just simple just roll rolling a die and if they ask two examples another would be tossing a coin because if you toss a coin if we have the random variable x equals to number of heads so if you have that so the probability of getting a head is half so probability of not getting a head is also half so that means if you don't get any head that means you're getting a tail that is half if you get one head so that is also half so it's a uniform discrete uniform discrete probability distribution so that's the idea so two examples of uh, getting a uh, discrete uh, uniform discrete distribution it's rolling a die and 
tossing a coin. That's the idea.